Welcome to Homestead Reptile. Today with me is Mud. So Mud is a first time breeder here and I want to talk to you guys how my what I made fun of him a little bit my least impressive or my ugliest gecko in my collection has produced some of the best looking babies. So this is his first one. Now again he's a new breeder. Um, I paired him to a proven breeder second baby pretty good but this third baby coming up here it's just wow so he was paired to obsidian butterfly and this is their third living baby um really really fantastic i'm hoping to get a, quite a few more eggs out of this pair but so far i am really really happy with the what they've produced and i'm definitely going to repeat this pair next year so you might think this looks like a super cappuccino now to be fair to you guys i also thought something terrible has happened and somehow i managed to produce a super cappuccino so i do have cappuccinos i have one male that's at breeding size and he's paired to a non-cap female so i don't know how that would happen it's like did i mislabel the eggs is she secretly a cappuccino no that didn't happen so he is the result of um obsidian butterfly has pangea lines in her the dark pangea lines and she's also charcoal they just produce an amazing just dark baby and this happens sometimes just like she, they're so so dark so you can see it's like the head isn't actually black. So it has that bit of that bronzy brown color to it. And that is super common with the Pangea line dark geckos. To have that uh, discolored head. The body will be black but the head will be more of a brown color. Super common there. You can see the eyelashes and he has normal nostrils. So my only worry is about this baby realistically is how it hatched. So th there were two eggs. Crested geckos generally lay two eggs. The first one died somewhere in incubation. This one, the second egg, was leaking constantly and had a little mold on the side. So I was thinking it was un an unviable egg too. So I was really going to get ready to throw it out that day. It hatched. Um, it was incubating for 110 days, a really long incubation. And they keep a little long to, to hatch out, but this guy took pretty long and I just thought it was an unviable egg. So it hatched out this beautiful baby the one that didn't hatch out looked just like this one as well um but i'm just worried it could have some health issues so i'll keep everyone posted if this guy survives or not because it hatched out of a leaking moldy egg so we'll just have to wait to see so i don't think it's anything genetically wrong with it it was just the egg was breached and pathogens could have gotten into the egg to affect the baby type of a thing so if this was interesting, like and subscribe, tell me what you think, and I am going to be having a lot of videos of babies. I've produced some just wow babies this year. I'm super excited about them. So again, like and subscribe and tell me what you think.